this is Melissa from With Love Melissa, and today we're going to do a fun spring watercolor geo pattern bookmark craft. So what you're going to need for this is some watercolor paints. I have um, like ones in tubes, but you can get whatever, and you, you can use whatever watercolors you have. I've just had these forever. So I've got my paint, I've got my palette, I've got some water and a paper towel, and I'm going to use my watercolor pen. Um, I suggest maybe getting this. It's really cool. I've only used it once so far, but I really like it. Um, we're also going to need washi tape, watercolor paper, and metallic pens if you want to decorate it further after we do the watercolor. So I already I have a sheet of 9 by 12 watercolor paper, and I sectioned it off with my washi tape, so I'm going to end up making five bookmarks. This one over here, as you can see, is a little bit bigger than the rest, but I tried to make them all even. So now the first thing we're going to do is to do the geo pattern. We have to put some washi tape onto um, the, the watercolor paper before we even put the watercolors on it. So this will give us some... We're gonna make some like geometric shapes using the washi tape. So I'm just gonna put down, yeah, that looks good, some pieces of tape. And I have, I have this thickness and this one. So I'm gonna kind of intersperse them a little bit to make them different. Okay, so I did this tape, and now I'm just going to do some of this one, if I could find the end. Okay, so... So I think that's good. I have all my washi tape on there, so now the watercolor is not going to go into those spots that the washi tape is on. So now I'm just going to pick my colors. And I'm gonna start painting, so enjoy, and we'll see how it looks when it's finished, and then we'll do the metallic markers. So I'm not an expert, but I do, I have done some watercolors and this is the wet on wet technique. So I'm just wetting all of my watercolor paper first.
Okay, so I have finished um, like my first layer of watercolors for all of my bookmarks. I tried to do some like designs with this one. This is just solid light colors. This is more of a rainbow. This one I'm trying to do kind of like forest scenes which will hopefully develop and then this one's going to be different variations of blue. Um, and I do, after the watercolor part, we're going to start drawing on it with marker, so that's going to give it even more of an effect. So I'm going to let this dry and then work on the next layer. Alright, so the watercolors are like 90% done drying. There's just a few little wet spots right there, so I'll save those for last. But now I'm going to start drawing some cute designs onto my watercolor backdrop using my metallic markers that I have and then I'll be able to take the washi tape off and we can see the finished product. So let's see what I want to do. Okay, so for the tree one, I'm gonna go a little out of the box and I'm not gonna use metallic pens. I'm gonna use my brush pens that I have to try and make the trees more outlined.
So the fun part with this is obviously you can be completely creative and do whatever designs you want. So you don't have to do what I'm doing, you can do anything you want. Okay, so there is the finished design. Now let's see how it looks without the washi tape on it. So be sure to subscribe and follow for more and like this video and I hope you guys have a great day.